Who wants to be on Girl Scout Wild? Anybody? Girl Scout Wild? What does HIV stand for? Human immunodeficiency virus. Human immunodeficiency virus. Who? Who? How many people approximately die each year from AIDS? Um, million? Good answer. What are some types of protection you can use to help prevent yourself from contracting this virus? Uh, I suppose that a, a condom is the number one that they, they prescribe. So, and uh, definitely abstinence. If you're not having sex, you're definitely not getting AIDS. Oh, Steph's filling your cup. She'll be up in 40 seconds. <laughs> it's a good call. Do you, call. Can you get AIDS from kissing a person? No, you can't. That's just ridiculous. Unless they have open sores on their mouth. Really? Yes. I should if watch they, that. They, How do you feel about the needle exchange program? Honestly, if people are going to do drugs, they might as well be doing them safely. And so I support the needle exchange program, which is active in Wisconsin. I think that people who are addicted to needle sharing Opiates. Opiates? Um, no, it's not the easiest thing to be, to stop. And so, if they're going to persist in their drug use, they should be safe about it. And so, a needle exchange program is beneficial to our community. That's and true. It's restriction of spreading AIDS. Oh, thank you. Create a popular belief you cannot get AIDS by kissing or hugging or talking to someone. You can get it by looking at someone, though, right? No, no, you cannot. Is it possible to get AIDS from sharing civilware? No. AIDS can only be contracted through S sexual intercourse, it cannot be transmitted through pools. Okay. And physical, con physical con contact and saliva. Good. Did, did you, do you feel your school properly educated you in means of protection? I feel that my school is so f***ing that no one had sex. I'm pretty sure if a chick swallows cum from a guy who has AIDS, I don't think she'll get AIDS. I mean, and that's because it doesn't go in the bloodstream. No, am I, am I, I wrong? Think, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. No, I, I, no, I, think, I don't know. I, well, you could blood. you could share a needle with you know some heroin addicts, oh, and uh, you could also like do the blood brother thing they do in the joint. There you go. Very but um, beyond that, what did you guys learn about AIDS or HIV protection in uh, high school? Zero. Quite a bit. I don't remember. Zero. What I Zero. You guys had no sex ed. Not. 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 Really? Not. Okay, what Not. kind of sex ed education did you have? Didn't incorporate abstinence. AIDS and HIV. Really? You had an abstinence only sex education. Yes, abstinence is the only way. Where the hell did you? Somebody had sex with a monkey that was like a. Uh, <laughs> A uh, Neanderthal? AIDS? <laughs> what? Go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer in the form of hip hop. Alright. How can you contract HIV? Okay. You can contract AIDS if you don't wear a jimmy. Yes. That's right. You know we don't get that silly, but uh, if you share needles, that's nasty. That's worse than if I had a beetle on my skin. That's right. AIDS, you never win. Unless you're Magic Johnson. But you better wrap up your Johnson before I come out with your straps, Charles Bronson. Where we from? Yeah, the woods of Wisconsin. It's possible to get AIDS from sharing uh, silverware with somebody who was, infected, who was HIV positive. I mean, actually, yes. I mean, like, I definitely remember being in health class, like, in middle school, and them talking about yeah. how, like, if you kiss too much or if you, like, Shared a glass with anyone too much, like you could absolutely just contract AIDS just like regularly. I mean, it's it's probably like the number two or three cause of the spread of AIDS. I mean, it's, it's a real problem. What do you think the number one cause is? I mean, I would say probably some good old fashioned intercourse. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. And it's How many people in the world do you think right now are affected by HIV or AIDS? In the world? Yep. I'm gonna say three million. How many people die of AIDS each year? Each year? Approximately. Don't mess up. Five million. Jason, what are you doing? What are some types of protection from HIV and AIDS that you can use? Condoms? Spermicidal? No, take it back. So how would you, uh, how would, if you had to help somebody who was bleeding and had HIV, what would you do? If you didn't have any gloves or anything, what would you do? How would I do it? That, that'd be a tough one. Um, I would probably hope that I don't have any open cuts and maybe find something to, you know, create the barrier between their blood and me. 
Otherwise, you know, you might have to, uh, you know, just help them stop the bleeding like a, any normal yeah, person. Yeah, put pressure on it, you know? Yeah, put pressure. I mean, that's the way you stop any bleeding. Oh, well, very good. But, but the problem is the HIV, so... For your, uh, yeah, just for your information, if you're ever in that situation, uh, you can take their hand and apply their hand to put pressure on the wound. I never thought about that, but Because then a you're, way, you're, you're avoiding most of the direct contact. Go to bed. You can't get AIDS twice. Yes, you that's can! That's, that's yes, you thing. can! You can How contract can... two different oh. strains of it. Can you? Yes! Do you know where you can get tested for HIV? I'm guessing you I suppose, just, I suppose you could go to the blood bank and tell them that you don't have AIDS and then, you know, they'll tell you that you have AIDS. But that's probably not the right way to go about it. Do you know where you can get tested for HIV in Madison? I think the Badger Applies Center provides a great resource for where? The Bl Badger Plasma Center. See, I don't know about that. See, I think, I think like, clinic? Oh my god, I'm so smart.